Narcissistic abuse is one of the worst kinds of abuse a person can experience because even if it's not physical, and many times it is, it does include physical um, violence, even if it doesn't include that, it comes on slowly. The narcissist isn't acting the way they act with their real selves in the beginning. So it's coming on slowly, it's coming on subtly, and you are just wondering what's going on and may not even re realize that what's happening is actually abuse. If you are currently experiencing narcissistic abuse or if you have recently come out of a narcissistic relationship, you are probably feeling both mental and physical effects of that relationship. Um, and this is no particular order, but one thing could be insomnia. Okay, that is a, an effect of an abuse. It can be caused by other things, but can also be caused by an abusive situation. Personally, I never had insomnia in my entire life until I was with the narcissist. And after the narcissist, it went away. Abuse can cause memory loss. It can cause depression, anxiety, acne, and other face problems, uh, even in adulthood, adult acne. It can cause restless leg syndrome. It can cause you to overanalyze or overthink. You can develop social anxiety and or a fear of speaking up or speaking out. It may cause you to grind your teeth and you may or may not be aware that you're doing that um, because it typically is done at night. Personally, that did happen with me. I didn't even know I was doing it. And as a result, I'm in Invisalign now, even though I wore braces when I was a kid. It can make your teeth crooked. No lie. And on a quick note, my orthodontist actually told me that's what it was from. You can experience digestive problems, weight gain, or weight loss. Personally, I developed digestive issues and just got thinner and thinner and thinner. Um, but those issues are gone now too because the narc is gone. This is not an inclusive list. It's actually a very short list. And I would suggest seeing a medical doctor or a naturopath and have your blood levels checked, your hormone, hormone levels, and everything after coming out of a narcissistic relationship or hopefully even if you're still there, you're probably going to need something. I was fortunate enough to regain my health and I wish the same for you guys.